अथ अष्टमोध्याय अर्जुन उवाच कि किमध्यात्म किं कर्म पुषोत्तम अधिभूत किं प्रोक्त अधिदैव किमुच्य अर्जुन इंक्वायर्ड ओ माय लॉर्ड ओ सुप्रीम पर्सन व्हाट इज ब्राह्मण व्हाट इज द सेल्फ व्हाट आर फ्रूट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज व्हाट इज दिस मटेरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड व्हाट आर द डेमी गॉड्स प्लीज एक्सप्लेन दिस टू मी अधियज्ञ कथम कोत्र देहेस्मिन मधुसूदना प्रयाण काल च कथम ज्ञेयोसि नियतात्म भी Who is the Lord of Sacrifice, and how does He live in the body, O Mother Sudana? And how can those engaged in devotional service know You at the time of death? Shri Bhagavanu Bacha. Akshadam Brahma Paramam Swabhavodhyatmam Ujjyate Bhutabhavodhavagaro Visargaha Karma Samgnitaha The Supreme Personality of Godhead said The indestructible transcendental living entity is called Brahman and his eternal nature is called Adhyatma the self action pertaining to the development of the material bodies of the living entities is called karma of fruitive activities Adhibhutam charo bhavaga purushascha adhidaivatam O best of the embodied beings, the physical nature, which is constantly changing, is called Adibhuta, the material manifestation, the universal form of the Lord. which includes all the demigods like those of the sun and the moon is called adidaiva and i the supreme lord represented as the super soul in the heart of every embodied being am called adiyagnya the lord of sacrifice antakale jamameva smaran mukta kale And whoever at the end of his life quits his body, remembering me alone, at once attains my nature. Of this there is no doubt. Yam yam va pismaral bha. Whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, O son of Kunti, that state he will attain without fail. Tasmat sarveshu kaleshu mama nusmara yudhya jya mayar pita mano buddhi ki mama vaishya si asam chayam. Therefore, Arjuna. You should always think of me in the form of Krishna. 
and at the same time carry out your prescribed duty of fighting. With your activities dedicated to me and your mind and intelligence fixed on me, you will attain me without doubt. Abhyasa Yoga Yuktena Chetasa Nanyagamina Paramam Purusham Divyam Yati Parthanu Chintayam He who meditates on me as a Supreme Personality of Godhead his mind constantly engaged in remembering me. Undeviated from the path, he, O Bhartha, is sure to reach me. Kavim Puranam Anushasitaram Anoraniyam Samanusmaredyaga Sarvasya Dhataram Achintya Rupam Adit one should meditate upon the Supreme Person as the one who knows everything, as he who is the oldest, who is the controller, who is smaller than the smallest, who is the maintainer of everything, who is beyond all material conception, who is inconceivable, and who is always a person. He is luminous like the sun, and he is transcendental beyond this material nature. Prayana kale manasa chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chayiva bruvor madhye pranava veshya samyak satam one who, at the time of death, fixes his life air between the eyebrows and by the strength of yoga, with an undeviating mind, engages himself in remembering the Supreme Lord in full devotion, will certainly attain to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yadaksharam Veda Vido Vadanti Vishanti Yadyatayo Vitaragaga Yadichanto Brahmacharyam Charanti Tate Padam Sangrakena Pravakshe Persons who are learned in the Vedas, who utter Omkara, and who are great sages in the renounced order, enter into Brahman. Desiring such perfection, one practices celibacy. I shall now briefly explain to you this process by which one may attain salvation. Sarvadvarani samyamya Mano hridi nirudhya cha Murdhyadhyatmanaka pranam the yogic situation is that of detachment from all sensual engagements, closing all doors of the senses and fixing the mind on the heart and the life air at the top of the head. One establishes himself in yoga. After being situated in this yoga practice and vibrating the sacred syllable Om, the supreme combination of letters, if one thinks of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and quits his body, he will certainly reach the spiritual planets. Ananyachetaha satatam 
For one who always remembers me without deviation, I am easy to obtain, O son of Pritha, because of his constant engagement in devotional service. Mamupetya punarjanma dukkalayam ashashvatam napnuvanti mahatmanaka samsiddhim paramam gataka After attaining me, the great souls who are yogis in devotion never return to this temporary world which is full of miseries because they have attained the highest perfection ah brahma bhuvana loka punaravartino arjuna ma mubetya tu kauteya punarjalma navidyate From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to my abode, O son of Kunti, never takes birth again. Sahasra Yuga Paryantam Ahariyat Brahmano By human calculation, a thousand ages taken together form the duration of Brahma's one day, and such also is the duration of his night. At the beginning of Brahma's day, all living entities become manifest from the unmanifest state, and thereafter, when the night falls, they are merged into the unmanifest again. Bhūtagrāmaha sayevāyam Bhūtva bhūtva praliyate Rātriāgame avashaka pārtha prabhavati aharāgame Again and again, when Brahma's day arrives, all living entities come into being, and with the arrival of Brahma's night, they are helplessly annihilated. Paraga tasma tu bhavo nyo avyakto vyakta sanatanaka yasa sarveshu bhuteshu nashyatsu Yet, there is another unmanifest nature, which is eternal and is transcendental to this manifested and unmanifested matter. It is supreme and is never annihilated. When all in this world is annihilated, that part remains as it is. Tamahu Paramam Gatim Yam Prapya Nani Vartante Tathama Paramam Mama That which the Vedantists describe as unmanifest and infallible, that which is known as the supreme destination, that place from which, having attained it, one never returns. 
That is my supreme abode. Purushah saparah patha bhaktya labhya ka vananya ya yasyam tasthani bhuta ani ye na saruam idam tatam. The supreme personality of Godhead, who is greater than all. is attainable by unalloyed devotion although he is present in his abode he is all pervading and everything is situated within him yatra kale tvana vrittim avrittim jeeva yoginaha prayata yantitam kalam vakshyami O best of the Bharatas, I shall now explain to you the different times at which, passing away from this world, the yogi does or does not come back. Agnihi jyotihi ahaha shuklaka. Those who know the Supreme Brahman attain that Supreme by passing away from the world during the influence of the fiery God. In the light, at an auspicious moment of the day during the fortnight of the waxing moon or during the 6 months when the sun travels in the north dhuma ratri hi tatha krishna ka shanmasa dakshinayanam tatra chandramasam jyoti hi yogi prapya nivat The mystic who passes away from this world during the smoke, the night, the fortnight of the waning moon, or the six months when the sun passes to the south, reaches the moon planet, but again comes back. Shukla Krishna Gati Kete Jagataka Shashvate Mate Yekaya Yati Ana. According to Vedic opinion, there are two ways of passing from this world, one in light and one in darkness. When one passes in light, he does not come back, but when one passes in darkness, he returns. Although the devotees know these two parts, O Arjuna, they are never bewildered. Therefore, be always fixed in devotion. Vedeshu yajneshu tapasu jiva daneshu yat. पुण्यफलम प्रदिष्टम अत्येति तत्सरूपम इदम विदित्वा योगी परम स्थानम उपैति चाद्यम A person who accepts the path of devotional service is not bereft of the results derived from studying the Vedas performing austere sacrifices giving charity or pursuing philosophical and fruitive activities simply by performing devotional service he attains all these and at the end he reaches the supreme eternal abode om tat saditi shrimad bhagavad gita su upanishad su brahma vidyayam yoga shastre shri krishna arjuna samvade 
ಅಕ್ಷರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯೋಗೋ ನಾಮ ಅಷ್ಟಮೋಧ್ಯಾಯ